Hello, welcome to Hello Jane Our Arcane Questions. So, uh, same as before, let's uh, go on to the first one. Um, pause me, see how you get on, and um, then I'll go through the answers. So, here we go. First of all, let's try naming these guys. So, first one. Well, we've got Iodine and only one carbon, so he is going to be called Iodo Methane. Obviously no number required. For the next one, I have got one, two, three carbons, and I've got a little chlorine there on the second one. So he is going to be called 2-chloropropane. The uh, third one, well I've got one, two, three, four carbons there. And I've got a little chlorine on the end. Um, so he's going to be 1-chloro-butane. And finally, uh, the fourth one. Again, I've got four carbons. So he's going to be uh, butane, from the butane family. Uh, however, I've now got a bromine and a chlorine. So it's going to be 2-bromo, 3-chloro. Butane. Well done. Okay, now we're going to go around the other way. So here are the names. Let's try drawing the displayed formulae for these. So the first one, 1-chlorobutane. So uh, it's a butane. So I'm going to have four carbons. So let's go one, two, three, four. I'm going to put a chlorine on the end there. And then I've got hydrogen atoms coming off every other place. Like so. And finally, 2,3-dichloropentane. This time I have got five carbon atoms. 2,3, so I've got a chlorine on the second and a chlorine on the third. And then I just pop on my H's, making sure that every carbon has his four bonds. Great, let's move on. Okay, so now they want me to give the mechanism for the following reaction. So let's have a look, try and figure it out. Uh, right, so what have I got here? Well, let's go crazy. I've got iodine there, and I've replaced him with OH there. So that gives me a clue. It's going to be a substitution reaction. What's going to be my attacking species? Well, as OH has been replaced, it's going to be OH that's attacked. We know that OH is actually OH minus the hydroxide ion. He's going to be attracted to a positive charge because he's negative. So he's going to act as a nucleophile. Therefore, it is going to be nucleophilic substitution. You see, easy to work out. Right, so let's try and draw it now. Well, I'm going to start with my iodomethane, like so. Carbon is going to be delta plus and iodine delta negative because uh, of the different in electronegativities. OH minus down here, and uh, let's put his lone pair of electrons on there. Lone pair is going to attack that carbon, which means that bond's got to break and go to the iodine. Now be careful here, make sure that the bond breaks in the middle. It's got to break in the middle, so that must start there and go down. Okay, so nice and easy. That just gives me my product, which is going to be methanol, of course, plus I minus. And let's put my lone pair on, like so. Okay, well done. Let's move on to the next and final question. Okay, so we've got to explain how and why the rate of reaction from the uh, previous reaction is affected by the halogen in a halogeno alkane. 
So if I changed iodine for bromine or chlorine, how would that affect my rate of reaction? Okay, so here's the answer. As I go down the group, so as I go down group 7, my halogens get bigger. That means that my carbon halogen bond must get longer, and as it gets longer, it gets weaker, and therefore the rate of reaction increases. So we can say as the halogen is changed from Cl to Br to I, the carbon halogen bond gets longer and weaker. Therefore, the rate of reaction increases down the group. So the slowest in this example would be chloromethane and the fastest would be iodomethane. Right, so that's it for halogen or alkanes. I'm not sure which one we'll do next. Um, be a surprise. Bye for now.